So here is a look at the Serene Life Portable Steam Sauna. And this is a sauna you can have set up in your own home. They have a version where it is infrared. I have the steam version. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a unboxing, assembly, and quick review. So for the unboxing, we'll go ahead, cut the exterior packaging. And the first thing that pops up is another box for the steamer. And the next thing is the exterior enclosure. Here we have a chair that comes with the steamer. The chair is not really that great. It folds out. Portable little camping chair basically. And here are the metal supports and the corner braces to build the steamer. Here is a manual and the pipe that connects to the steamer. So let's go ahead and unbox the steamer here. This is the steam pot. You basically just fill it with water. On the side you'll notice it has a power button and power button on the top. We'll go ahead and set that aside. So again, here's a quick look. Everything that comes in the packaging, this is the manual. It has instructions on the assembly here. Um, parts are labeled one, two, three, and number four. And then the corner braces. Um, you'll see in the diagram we have those number one, two, three, and four corresponding. So here are, again are those corner braces. And this is the number one piece for the front. Attach a corner brace to one end and another corner brace to the other end. The number two piece for the side. This whole assembly will take about five to ten minutes. It's uh, really easy to set up, it's very straightforward to follow. And another number one piece and corner brace to build the complete base of the steam sauna. Here are the corner walls. This is the number four piece. Just put one of these in every corner. And after that is complete, we use a number three piece and just put that right on top of those number four pieces. Once that is done, this is a look at the completed sides. And we grab another set of those corner braces attach them to each vertical pole and we'll put a number another number one piece in the front and the rear and then we use those number two pieces on the sides now we'll um, put together the exterior enclosure and you'll notice inside we'll get this mat cover um, set this aside we won't need it yet but we'll basically use the black and blue exterior unzip that and get the base ready just basically unfold everything and then we sit the metal you know enclosure the thing we built right in top and just line the corners up and then here's that tray again this is basically to catch any water drippings when you're steaming in there. And we just push it down and tie it together to each side. And here we're actually getting the enclosure built now. Um, pull the top over, tuck the corners in. And here I'm just spinning it around so it's a better angle. You can see the front corners. They just go right over those corner braces. And then you just zip close the door. You can open it and it um, allows three sides to be open. Now we have a Velcro window and that just simply attaches via Velcro um, to the front. This is the steamer again and this is a tube that connects to the enclosure and then that gets connected to the um, steamer cap.
and it also comes with a little remote. So that is the enclosure all put together, steamers all put together. I have went ahead and filled four liters of water. You can see that's the fill line there. And we'll go ahead and plug this in. Put the cap on top, lock it into place. Make sure the steamer is connected to the enclosure. Turn on the power, flip the side switch. Then press the power button. On the right, we have the power setting. It goes from one to 16. And then on the left, we have the timer, which goes from one minute all the way to 99 minutes. So it basically auto shuts off after whatever time setting you set it to. So here is a look at the steamer fully boiling. It's basically a boiling hot pot of water and the steam travels into the enclosure. All right guys, so after using this steam sauna for a few times, I think it's absolutely awesome. For 250 bucks, it's extremely easy to set up. It works. Um, you know, after a few years, if you don't like it, throw it away. If you're concerned about, you know, it not being clean, this is so much easier to just buy this, throw it away every two to three years. Um, a few things about the steam sauna is the power is great. Uh, I go to a steam room at the gym at Lifetime probably once a week, and this thing competes, man. If you're patient, you'll have no problems. Give it 15 minutes to preheat, and then when you get in, you gotta hang out for about five, 10 minutes, and it's, it's really steamy. You'll have no problems with that. The one thing is water does puddle on the bottom. Of course, I mean, there's, it's all steam in here. So um, you can take that tray out and empty it. Also, the chair they give you is not great. Um, so I'd recommend just getting yourself a different shower chair or something like that. Let me show you the temperature. So the temperature out here is actually pretty cold in my basement. About 60 degrees on the floor. 60 degrees on the, um, just on the ambient temperature. Water the pot is 170. And let's see, let's check the temperature inside here. About 90 and where it outputs the steam it's about a hundred degrees but I tell you if you're patient with this no problems at all so again that is a quick look at the serene life steam sauna if you guys do have any questions leave them down below I'll try to get those answered quickly uh, let me know what you guys think of this steam sauna is it worth it uh, I'm considering getting one, a steam shower installed in my home. However, I figured I'd just try this out. And you know, if I like it a lot, then I can go with that approach. But um, this will be able to let me test the waters at home. Leave me a big thumbs up if you guys did find the video helpful. Check out my channel for tech videos, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.